what's up y'all welcome back to my channel i'm coming on here looking so cute and so fashionable because i'm taking my braids down it's been about five weeks so far and i'm gonna get into more about my braids and some frequently asked questions about my braids in this video while i take this last little portion down so if you're interested in that keep on watching <laughs> All right, so I'm on like my last section, but I have a few questions that I got from my social media and then also just frequently asked questions that I get in person and also a few questions that I've gotten on YouTube as well. So first question is how long does it take to put up these braids? And I think I've mentioned it in a video before. Usually for me, it takes me three days, but I'm pitiful. I usually, like y'all saw in the video of how I install them, I usually take so long because I don't dedicate just like a full day to doing my hair. I don't really, can't really fit it in, honestly. So typically it takes me three days. Um, and that's doing maybe about two or three hours of braiding per day. So that just works out for me. I can get everything else done as well. But honestly, my preference would be to do it all in one day. Um, and that would take probably about eight, eight hours or nine hours or so. Like takes a while they're small you know and you're not adding hair so they're small it's just your hair and the braid it it takes a while so yeah um also i get the question why not add hair you know why would i not add hair to prevent frizz and to just kind of preserve the style a little bit better add some length add some thickness whatever for me just personally i never had a good experience with adding anything to my hair <laughs> and I've always been like that like um I've gotten yarn braids twice and my scalp was just so itchy I couldn't really wash them very well because it, they were just so heavy and I just didn't like the experience so for me I would prefer to instead of trying to keep up the look of synthetic hair I would prefer to just keep my hair healthy and um, deal with the maintenance of my hair as I know how to do so that just works best for me uh, However, if it works best for you to add hair to your braids add hair to your braids girl <laughs> They probably will look better a lot longer And I'm not really sure as far as how to keep your hair as moisturized, but for me I can keep my hair more moisturized with just my My hair braided. So that's the reason why the next question was, how do you prevent frizz? And I got this a lot on YouTube as well. Um, a lot of ladies were saying that like five days later, they were getting frizz on their mini braids. And really what I've noticed is it comes down to your braid pattern. So the way that you braid your hair and then also what you do with your hair before you braid it. So for me, I find that if I don't stretch my hair properly before I braid it, it will look frizzier sooner because the hair is already curling onto itself. So even if I'm like washing it and everything, if my hair is stretched beforehand, it's just a tighter weave. You know, it's a tighter braid pattern uh, if the hair is stretched. So um, doing a roller set beforehand, blow drying beforehand, you can kind of see like a little build up. But yeah, roller set or even um, I've done a really stretched braid out beforehand and that worked out well too, but it just has to be pretty stretched for you to get the least amount of frizz on your braids. Also use a comb, use a comb. <laughs> I know a lot of ladies like to, like how people used to do it back in the day on YouTube, they would just take their finger and section off a piece of hair and then braid it. But what I find is that you leave a lot of hairs out and when you leave them out the party, then they start to rebel. They're like, I can't even get in. So you wanna make sure that you get all of the hairs in the braid and the best way to do that is to part it and have like organized parts. And then you know where all the hair is. You know what I mean? You can make sure it all gets into the braid. You can make sure you're nice and smooth and you actually twist the hair around when you're braiding it down. And that prevents a lot of frizz. But as far as products preventing frizz or as far as maintenance to prevent frizz, I do use a head scarf every single night, a satin scarf. Um, I do keep my hair moisturized, which prevents frizz even when you're not wearing braids. And then I also will put a gel or a light butter on top of my braids to prevent frizz as well. So those things, kind of keeping the braids stretched, like maybe 
doing, I've done like a braid out on my mini braids. I've done a roller set on my mini braids. All those things also prevent frizz because they kind of gather everything together in a unified pattern. So if your hair gets real frizzy, but you still want to wear it, try doing it in a braid out or a roller set. And that usually helps. Next question is how long can you keep up your braids? Now, I've seen a lot of different answers for this. Like naturally marked here on YouTube, she keeps her braids up sometimes for like two months, three months, you know? I've kept my braids up for as long as eight weeks, maybe even nine weeks. <laughs> and some people will put them in and then two weeks later, they're like, oh girl, I'm taking these out. Oh, be careful, sweetie. They're taking them out. So for me, I like to take down my braids once they've already loosened a little bit. Like I don't like to take them down when they're fresh and tight. Like if I did that, I scheduled something wrong. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like, hold on, someone's calling me. Like, I really feel like if I put braids up and I'm taking them down while they're still tight, I scheduled something wrong. Like, if there was a, a reason that I needed to take the braids down, mm, I ain't do something right, honey. I usually make sure that in that span of time, there's nothing that I'll need to have my natural hair just out for or, like, nothing that I want a fresh hairstyle for or whatever for that next six weeks or so. So, I typically will wear my braids for six weeks. Um, this time is like five weeks, but for me, it just really depends on how I'm feeling, what I have coming up, what I have time for. And that's what I roll with. You know, like I said, I don't like to take them down fresh and tight. And then if they stay in too long, you will get matting at the roots. And I haven't really found a way to prevent that. I've oiled my scalp, I've moisturized my hair and stuff like that, but I, I just haven't found a way. Okay, so um, another question was what products do I use in my natural hair? And I, I use, I put um, some inserts of like the products that I used in my last video, but I will go over some of them. Um, one thing that I've been doing this time is I've been using shea butter, uh, which is like already whipped and everything. So it's very, very soft. And I use that on top of my uh, moisturizer which is usually Paul Mitchell deconditioner conditioner or, you know, my spray bottle mix or whatever. And that's pretty much it. Like I keep it very simple. I wash and condition them. Sometimes I'm just co-washing during the week and then I'll do that. So nothing, nothing too crazy. I don't, um, I don't really wear them down too much. So the moisture really does stay in my hair. Like even me taking them down now, they still feel very moisturized. Um, let's see. How do they protect your hair if your ends are loose? For me, they protect my hair because honestly, my hair is usually in the butt. <laughs> but um, this is really a low manipulation hairstyle. Things are stronger in groups. So you want to keep that in mind. Uh, with the braids, your hair is going to be stronger together than it would be just loose. So. So that's it y'all. I just had a few questions that I really wanted to address about my braids. If you do have any more questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and subscribe for more updates.